Good morning, everybody. It's Dr. Galvin uh, with another post uh, ER update about COVID and uh, things similar. Um, worked the entire weekend, very, uh, very busy. Big problem we are having, and I think a lot of hospitals are having, is lack of staff. A lot of nurses have been burned out by COVID. Um, there are lucrative opportunities for them to do travel nursing, so we've lost a lot of staff. So I have a whole ICU at my hospital that's closed because it can't be staffed. Um, and that leads to people being backed up in the ER and long, long wait times. And the other thing is we're just are seeing lots and lots of sick people. I think a lot of people have, have kind of not paid attention to their health over the last year, and so that's a problem. Um, my name is Jeffrey Galvin. I'm a board certified emergency medicine physician. I've been posting updates about COVID since the beginning. I still work in the emergency department. I also run an executive health precision medicine uh, wellness clinic called Vitality Medical Wellness Institute in Charlotte. But I've been posting videos, so that, that's sort of my backstory. Uh, if you like these things, you want to keep up, um, please subscribe to our YouTube channel or follow us on Facebook. Um, I'm going to talk a little bit about numbers. I haven't done numbers in a while. Now, worldwide, since this all started, there's been 186 million cases of COVID and 4 million deaths. Now, I think the important thing to notice about to note about the death numbers is that there were 1.8 million deaths worldwide from COVID in all of 2020. And you know, there's been 2.2 million deaths just so far this year. And that's because COVID is exploding in other countries. So it seems like it's almost over, right? Well, it's not. Most other countries do not have the vaccination rates that we do. Because of the vaccine, we are doing much better. Although, um, you know, we are still having some problems there and we're gonna talk about that. In the US, there's been 39, I'm sorry, 34 million cases so far. 607,000 deaths. Um, the U.S. is about 47% vaccinated, but as we talked about the other day, there are many states, especially in the South and like where I am, where vaccination rates are not good. The Delta variant of COVID, which is a mutation of the original COVID vac virus, rather, that is far, far more contagious and also seems to be getting younger people and healthier people a lot sicker than the old versions is now 80 to 90 percent of the of the types of, of the cases of COVID that we're seeing. We talked about this huge spike in cases in um, Missouri while well, they're seeing it in Arkansas and you know you see a spike in cases then you see spikes in hospital admissions and then ICU admissions and then you know weeks to months later deaths and so um, we know that um, the death rates are going up again that all, virtually 100% of those people who are dying um, or being admitted to the hospital are unvaccinated. So I don't care what you think about the vaccine. The facts are very clear. It's safe. People, you know, I love the two, the uh, comments I get, especially on YouTube, about, you know, all these deaths from the vaccine. Well, prove it. There, there haven't really been. There's been three, you know, definitive uh, blood clot related deaths associated with the J&J &J vaccine. And that's about it. Now we've given over 350 million doses. Worldwide, we've given 3.5 billion doses with nary a problem. Um, I've been immunized since December. I don't know a single person that's had a problem other than the sort of initial uh, little flu-like symptoms you get after the vaccination. Um, you can watch all the conspiracy videos you want to. Guess what? They ain't coming from people who actually work and see patients. Um, you won't see a single uh, video about vaccine problems from anybody who actually works with COVID patients. I've taken care of hundreds of COVID patients. My, my partners have taken care of many more. We are not seeing people in the hospital with problems related to the vaccine. We are seeing unvaccinated people coming in with COVID and being pretty sick. So that's the, the long and short of that. I'm a little punchy after this weekend, um, but I, some of the comments on YouTube just are so incredibly stupid and um, you know people are talking out of their rear ends and uh, these are people who have never actually taken care of a, of, a, of a patient before and they think they they know I'll have all the answers. Um, I have been asked a number of times about booster shots and you know right now it looks like the current vaccines are pretty good against all the variants. Um, they're very very effective. Um, might we need boosters? Well, there was some, some preliminary information from Pfizer that showed a third dose um, actually boosts antibody production by a factor of 10 over the second dose. And so um, more antibodies, more protection, 
we don't know how long these vaccines are going to last for. Preliminary data suggests that you may, we may well develop long-term immunity um, from the current vaccines, at least lasting many years. However, because there's so many people worldwide who are unvaccinated, the more that virus sort of churns through the population and reproduces, the more variants occur. And those variants, you know, are invariably tend to be more virulent, more contagious because it's an adaptation that's beneficial for the virus. Ultimately, we're probably going to see variants that are resistant to the current vaccines. Um, when that happens, we'll have to, you know, concoct new vaccines. Now, the good news is that the mRNA vaccines um, are very easy to modify. So if a, a super strain of COVID comes out that is, you know, that is able to defeat the current vaccines, it will be very easy to develop a booster shot that will give people protection. But we're not there yet. Um, I think Pfizer is uh, and Moderna are trying to, um, you know, get booster shots available. I'm not really convinced personally that they're they're needed right now. Um, and so I don't think the CDC is recommending. I think we'll just keep our eye ear to the ground. Um, please realize that, you know, these guidelines change for a reason. And, and, you know, I've gotten some flack that, oh, these things are always changing. You don't know what's going on. Well, it's true. Like it's science. We, we don't know what's going on. We, we have theories and and they're tested by doing studies and doing research we don't know if a new variant is is resistant to the vaccine until we look at the data and so yes these things are going to change recommendations are going to change as new data becomes available it's not because you know scientists don't know what's going on they're actually doing exactly what they're supposed to be doing new data retest the hypothesis, see if the hypothesis stands up. If it doesn't, then you have to change the hypothesis. So guidelines are going to change. Mask guidelines are going to change. Um, just understand that it's part of science and, and that's actually what we want to see happening. Um, I'm, I'm, that's it for, for me today. I'm exhausted. Um, as usual, if you like this, please follow me um, on Facebook and YouTube. Um, if you um, are uh, against the vaccine. I, I don't even know what the point of you commenting is. Like, uh, I actually take care of these people. I, I've seen plenty of people die and get really, really sick from this. I don't want that to happen to anybody I love or care about or any of my patients. So I recommend everybody get vaccinated. They're safe and they will protect you. Um, have a good day. Good night. Um, wash your hands. Stay safe. Look after those around you. Look after yourselves and your family. I'm out of here.